So I forgot to mention this is trip 16. 16, I believe. Actually, 17 if you count the other load. Oh. Which other load? Oh. North Parkway. Oh, right. Well, yeah, but. It's uh, 19 for me since I stopped at Home Depot just up the road. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so going to just roof the, um, uh, the walkway and, yeah, like that. Okay, here we go. Five down, two to go. Now let's get the rest. Six more sheets of regular ply. All right, so seven sheets of T111, six sheets of plywood, just to cover this area here, along with some drip edge. And I probably need to get more drip edge. And these hammer down awesome saw horses from Lowe's. They're definitely expensive, but um, what you can do is you can take two by fours and you can make you a, a table yeah and the legs are adjustable it all folds up they're heavy duty they're good for i don't know how many pounds a lot and uh and then i got storm guard it's a film that goes it's got a sticky back on it and once your plywood's up you put this stuff on it and it sticks to the roof and then when you run a roofing screw through it it self anneals around the hole that you make so no leaks film surface leak barrier there you go chris is trying out the new bit it's pretty awesome look at that that is so slick that is so slick. And then there's you. You fur missile, you. Are you a fur missile? Yeah, you're a fur missile. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah. How would you like to have that coming at you? <laughs> and uh, lovingly has postponed a Christmas plan and is in fact going to run my dog fence which is like awesomely incredible so here's the video for that uh oh butt crack yep Oh, yeah, how far in? Uh, just a little bit, because I can pull back. Is that, I mean, how much is in there? Uh, two feet. Okay. Jake hey. from State Farm. No. Jake, my one of my dearest friends and partner. Not as in life partner, because you all know I'm married. Oh, come on, Mike. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> so he is putting in the interior hubbub for the for the uh, dog fence. 
Look at him go. What do you need? Do you need uh, the drill? I need a eight pan or something. Oh, okay. Okay. Tiny house ink pen, where would you be? <laughs> I need a better ink pen, Mike. You need a better ink pen? I need a better ink pen. Okay. You're just marking a spot that'll never be seen again? Well, it's, it's not even reaching the wall. Well, what kind of ink pen do you want? I'm just using one of these screws, Mike. Okay. I'm trying to be a perfectionist like you, Mike. Oh, don't worry about it. You say that now, and then you have to about it forever. <laughs> Ooh, where did Jake Fanny come? Screwed on crooked. Hey, feel this. That's Venetian plaster, dude. That's three coats, hand burnished. And look, you're letting me drill holes in it. Well, you know, I don't, I don't let just anyone drill in my stuff. I know, I feel special. So yeah, Chris is having one heck of a time with this cable layer. Um, he says it doesn't like to work in manicured grass. The grass is actually clogging it all up. So he's having to constantly stop and dig all the grass out of it. So I'm going to uh, truck over there and see how he's doing. Well, I'm giving Tesla enough room to where she can go. It works to about eight feet this side of the trench. So I'm giving her enough room to where she can come to the other side of these trees here but not see this is a taxiway easement and if they ever decide to build hangars right here this is their access to the taxiway to the airport right over there back when I used to be a pilot <laughs> um, so yeah let's I can see where he's had to dig it out dig the mud and shit out of it this is all clay uh, doesn't do a very good job of burying it, but uh, you know, thank God for Chris. He is my savior. He really is. He's been uh, helping me beyond what any friend should do, and not wanting anything back for it. Just he does it out of love, I guess. I love him. As much as a man can love a man that's both parties are not gay. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with being gay, don't get me wrong. But oh my god, he is just working his butt off on this thing.
the difference between what we at Dog Watch do and everybody else is the fact that just like in your case, if your dog was to try to bolt through the line chasing a squirrel or a cat or anything else, ours is the only one on the market that works on an FM radio signal. So the AM signal has two second dead zones traveling through that wire. And if that dog bolts and it crosses that line during one of those two second dead periods, then it gets no correction, no warning or anything. And it's out and gone chasing whatever it's after. Dog watch with that FM signal brings in the consistency of every time your dog gets to a certain point of the yard, it gets a warning letting it know, hey, you're getting too close, you need to back away. Then when it gets to our next phase, which is the correction zone, it always gets a correction at the same exact spot every single time and never has that opportunity to bolt through. And that's why we don't have dogs that learn to run through the fence. They will chase whatever they're after up to a point and then they learn that it's always there. It's the consistency that the FM signal brings. Well, shameless plug, your contact info. Uh, dog Watch, Hidden Fence, North Alabama, 256-880-1888. Give us a call. You heard it here. <laughs> Hi, everybody. So uh, I really kind of screwed up yesterday. Chris was so kind to come over and set up the sawhorses and cut T-111 ply for me and get it up there. He's terrified of heights, so... Uh, he had to get up on this big ladder and yeah, I'm just like so indebted to him um, But Sonny had to run off she'll come back and uh, And she will help screw them down I guess get the rest of it cut maybe this afternoon and uh, Yeah, so Tesla's sees the cat out here. Hey girl Hi stay so I'm just kind of waiting waiting around Sonny went to school to check on some new classes the plywood got wet look at that stuff it's warped out on me but some clamps and screws and it should be okay I hope um, it is it is exterior ply too so I, I don't understand okay dogs are going crazy all right so i neglected to show chris over here yesterday on video working his butt off on this roof stuff you were and uh the cat to my wife yeah that's right <laughs> well i didn't spend a lot of time out here all right time to go back inside i gotta work so here's my honey bunny up on the roof and here's my other honey bunny up on the ladder he loves heights uh, as I love heights too, me and my flip flops. Is that good enough for now? Oh, I miss it. This house. I can't see this Good job, honey. You're a good screw. Yeah. Er.